Good morning. All right, y'all. Day 10 today. We're halfway done after today. And I'm in the town of Lowe. Me and Bradley are sharing a cottage cabin. Check it out. Pretty nice, actually. No real features in here, but it's a shelter. I got a bed for the pillow and a comforter. So yeah, that's nice. Today we slept in a little bit. It's currently 6.30. I think we got up at 6 or 5.30. Did a little sit. And today's a short day. We're only hiking like four or five miles today. So we might visit this lake. That would be sweet. Get to do some swimming. I think that's either today or tomorrow. Not really sure. But yeah, I've taken the time to really connect to friends and family back home. Got Wi-Fi here. That's big. It's been another few days since Wi-Fi. And yeah, downloaded a bunch of podcasts. I've been kind of purist about my view on wanting to be in the moment rather than listening to podcasts and audiobooks and whatnot. But Bradley's kind of inspired me. He's been listening to an audiobook he's really enjoying. And it's something I like to do anyways, so why not just integrate? the two worlds, real life and hiking life into one. So stoked to listen to some audio. We'll see which one I choose. Yeah, I've got a Dan Harris's podcast, 10% Happier. It's a meditation podcast and he's I downloaded his episode where he interviews Daniel Ingram, whose book I've read, and it's called Mastering the Core Teachings of the Buddha. And he claims to be an enlightened being. And he's like a surgical emergency room tech doctor. So yeah, it was a good book. I, and I haven't actually heard from him so I'm curious about this interview. But anyways, the day is starting. Oh, look at this view out here, y'all. See if I can get y'all a glimpse. Uh, got the fields, the mountains, the distant mountains, some cottage cabin village stuff going on. So yeah, still doing it. Ugh. Hike still on. Haven't given up yet. Helicopters haven't come for me yet. Still walking and learning. Um, yeah. I don't think I did a recap for last night, so I'm making up for it with a little bit more updates right now all right y'all i'm getting up it's time i'll see you around i'll see you around all right okay
Funny. Funny. Get your pony ready. Get your pony ready, boys and girls. All right, look what we found. Some green grasses. Field, baby. Some field. So, you know what that means? We busting it out. The frizz life. Let's do this. All right. Got the whole village involved in play. Just doing some play here. We got a hack. <laughs> Quick learners. Send it. Okay, y'all, a few frisbee tosses here. This is the standard forearm. Looks something like this, right, her? Forehand. Forehand? forehand. Yeah, you see that? That's the forehand. All right. Give me the forehand back. Oh, okay. Now, the backhand, of course. Ooh, something like that. Okay. Give me the backhand, baby. Here it comes. Okay. Came in fast there. Alright. Now this one's kind of different. This is like thumb inside. What do you call thumb inside? This is a flick. The wrist flick. See that? Looks something like this. Still working on that one. See the wrist flick? Yeah, that's a much better one right there. Okay. Then we got the ground, ground shot. This is some wizardry right here. Looks like this. See that? Off the ground. Give me off the ground, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the off the ground. Last one I know is the hammer throw. It's going to be an over the head. It's going to come down like this. Hopefully it flattens out. Yeah. So it looks something like this right here. Oh. And right there, flattened out. <laughs> so give me the hammer throw, baby. Oh, the waffle fry. Let's see it. He's still working on the waffle fry. That's some basic for his techniques. If we learn more, we'll keep you tuned in. All right, we'll see you later. Goodbye. The 
the lake. Look at all these Karens. Look at all these Karens. Oh. Whoa. We made it to the lake. This place is pretty epic. Can you see it? Can you see what I'm seeing? That thing is just leaking glacial snow melt water and just feeding this basin so we can drink it. Have some good drink. And it's cold. Oh, it's chilly. Ooh, it's chilly. All right, stay tuned. All right, you know us Texans. Everything's got to be bigger and better. So we've entered a field of Karens here. You can see them everywhere. And I think our competition might be like that one. I think that one right there. So we're setting to work. We're going to build. We're going to build, I baby. I found the base. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. It's not the tallest, but it's the biggest. Darn tootin'. What are we calling it? Big Tex. Big Tex. The ship has sailed, baby. <laughs> <laughs> God, it looks like a ship. All right. Cheers.